welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family Road, Road Trip. Trip. This week, after an awesome time with Lifestyle Overland in Utah, we are heading south, further into the desert. When we made it to southern Utah, we reached out to our friend Bobby Culpepper from CVT Tents. He was at their showroom in Las Vegas, so we decided to head down and look at some new tents. All right, we are in Las Vegas. We're pulling up to the new CVT Depot, I guess. It's their new facility. We've been to their one in Oregon, we've been to their facility in Chattanooga, and now Vegas. It's pretty exciting. CVT, baby. Brand new warehouse. We're here at CVT. You can see the brand new tent in the distance there. I think it looks pretty slick. We're excited to have those uh, clamshells on both Jeeps, but uh, we didn't get everything installed that we wanted to, so we are we need to spend the night here. We were gonna go uh, camping somewhere outside of Vegas, but uh, anyway, our friends here at CVT said, why don't you sleep in the tents in the warehouse? <laughs> and you know what, we've done that before. Our friends down at Exploration Outfitters uh, opened up their shop one time when we were getting all the work done on on uh, Worsley and we spent a couple of days or even more, almost a week, uh, camped out in the shop and in the showroom. So, hey, we're doing it again. It's part of uh, travel life. You take up shelter where you can. In a big city like this, uh, I guess our other option would be to go to a hotel, but we're quite comfortable sleeping in our tents in the warehouse tonight. Now that everything is finished being installed on the Jeeps, we leave CVT and hit the road to the Amargosa Big Dunes, where we will spend the next few days before heading into Death Valley National Park. All right, we left Las Vegas and it's around 10 o'clock in the evening. It is a Wednesday night. We've got our brand new tents and we're gonna use them for the first time out in the field. Can't wait, pretty excited. By the way, driving up here. (laughs) That's um, very quiet. It was very quiet, as Carol said. You know, we're used to some wind, and you know, this has a much lower profile in the wind, so we forgot they were up there. All right, so let's deploy these guys. They're a lot easier to uh, put up and take down than the other ones. Not complaining about the other tents, they're amazing, but look at this. We'll get that started, and it takes care of itself. And there you have it. Our first night in our new CVT tents was amazing, and we woke up the next day feeling refreshed as the sun rose over the sand dunes. big dune area absolutely beautiful if you ever get a chance to come out here you can camp anywhere disperse camping we're all by ourselves we're having a lot of fun we just chilled today no filming no cameras just hanging out and enjoying the place but um, the kids are out doing some photos now because uh, the sun's going down it's a perfect time to take some pictures and uh, me and Carol are gonna do up some Indian curry Wow, 
So we had an awesome night here at the dune. We actually spent all day yesterday just uh, relaxing. And last night the kids took some pictures. We made a delicious meal. And now we're about 45 minutes from the start of the Death Valley Trail getting into Titus Canyon. We can't wait to get up there. But first we're gonna stop in Beatty and get some water. We have to adjust to desert life. My goodness, we're going through the water at least three times faster than normal. We left one of our front runner water cans back in Ontario thinking we were going to spend the time in BC and not need it. So we're going to have to come up with another water solution, but for now we're going to fill up and then head into the hot Death Valley Desert. first stops en route to Death Valley was at the old mining town, now a ghost town, called Rhyolite. The town began in early 1905 as one of several mining camps that sprang up with a prospecting discovery in the surrounding hills. During an ensuing gold rush, thousands of gold seekers, miners and developers flocked to the Bullfrog Mining District and many settled in Rhyolite. Rhyolite declined almost as rapidly as it rose. Now you can see the ruins of the old town that once had an estimated population of nearly 5,000 people. We're in the ghost town of Rhyolite. It used to be a gold town and uh, we met one of the locals and he said he pointed out a trail to an actual open mine. So we're heading up there now. Hey guys, we're really deep in a, one of the many gold mines here in Rhyolite. I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel there. But yeah, this was an active area for gold mining way back in the early 1900s. And then everything shut down, but you can still get access to the, to the mines. So we're looking for gold, haven't found any yet, but we're having fun. That was a really neat tour of Rhyolite, the old ghost town. We're leaving there now and heading deeper into Death Valley. We're gonna go, we're looking for a place called Titus Canyon.
This beautiful trail is known as Titus Canyon Road. We climbed gradually up the foothills, meandering among the sagebrush and red rock outcroppings, taking in the breathtaking surroundings of towering rock formations and desert landscape. As we came around a corner, we could see the trail ahead turn into winding switchbacks up a steep red face known as Red Pass. The trail became steeper and narrower as we approached the pass. About to head up some uh, pretty steep switchbacks here in Death Valley. Epic. Red Pass is a high mountain pass at an elevation of 5,213 feet above sea level. through Titus Canyon is just unbelievable. You gotta try it someday. You don't need a high clearance 4x4. Four four. Four wheel drive I'm sure would help, but uh, it is just beautiful. At the top of Red Pass, we got a stunning view of the canyon below and began our descent into Titus Canyon. This is just breathtaking. Check this out. All the different colors. Unbelievable. Such a beautiful area. Love it. Everyone is going to come down. We're just soaking in the view. Titus Canyon is named after Morris Titus. In 1906, he left the boom town of Rhyolite with a prospecting party. While the prospectors were camped in the canyon, water supplies began to dwindle. Titus left in search of water and help, but he was never seen again. Over 1,000 feet deeper in the canyon, we came to the remains of an old mining boom town called Leadfield. In 1926, the town boomed due to wild and distorted advertising, leading 300 hopeful people in search of bridges to the site. They were advertised a rich lead find. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, less than a year later, the lead dried up and the town quickly dwindled. Before the start of the drive through the narrow Titus Canyon Gorge, we stopped at the petroglyphs, which were really fascinating to see. Then began the drive through the incredible gorge to Lippincott Mine Trail in search of a camp spot for the night. Stay tuned for next week's episode as we head further into the hot, dry desert land known as Death Valley, next time on the Epic Family Road Trip. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.